Hi, I'm Adam Kennedy. I'm a senior biologist here at the New England Aquariums Animal Care Center. I'm on the sea turtle rescue side in Quincy, Massachusetts. We are currently working with 31 sea turtles. So normally what you would see is a robust facility. Uh, currently there are two staff here, myself and Eliza, uh, practicing social distancing, making sure that we are staying six feet away from each other. So as I said, we do still have 31 sea turtles at the facility. Currently we are moving through and feeding the turtles. Eliza is making sure the turtles are getting their diet of herring and squid. Uh, currently, most of these guys are on an every other day feeding right now. Um, we do still have some that are still needing to get a little bit more calories in them, so they're getting every day. We are feeding a diet of herring and squid. We do have Kemp's Ridley's and Loggerhead sea turtles in-house. These are the turtles that came in from last November and December uh, during the cold stunning event that occurs annually down on the Cape. Uh, these are the turtles that are left. And as you can see, we are tallying all the food that these turtles are eating. And we also have multivitamins for all the turtles. Uh, so we're making sure that all the turtles are getting the medication and the care that they need. Uh, again, you know, Eliza and myself today, normally we'd have six or seven folks out here feeding all at once. Uh, so we're moving through. All the turtles are getting the food and care that they need. A lot of these turtles actually are getting ready for release. Um, we've tagged multiple turtles over the past week, so we are, fingers crossed, uh, getting a good chunk of turtles, at least half of these animals released. Uh, the other half would still stay with us. Um, then we'll see how they progress as uh, the rehab continues. Uh, so I'm in food prep right now. Uh, as I said, um, we are preparing herring and squid. Right now you can see the herring is still kind of frozen. Um, Depending on which turtles are eating each day, it will depend on how many herring and squid that we uh, would prepare. Basically, we look at our food boards and just kind of go from there as far as how much we should prepare, and prepare every day. Uh, as I said, we are feeding every other day for most turtles. Um, some turtles are still eating squid, some are not. So depending on the day, we may not prep squid. We do prefer herring for the turtles due to the calorie content per gram. Uh, is much higher than the squid that we have, so we get a better bang for our buck calorically with the turtles when they're eating herring. They would not naturally be eating this out in the wild, uh, but as far as the food sources that Kemp's Ridley's and Loggerheads eat, uh, we don't have to worry too much about impaction with herring and squid, whereas if we were to feed a diet of crab and other crustaceans, we would tend to worry a little bit more about impaction since they're not in the ocean doing deep dives and moving the way they would be moving out in the ocean. So every day we prep our food and get it ready for the turtles to eat. Right, so we're out in our storage area for the rescue side. Um, this is where everyone wants to come and see. This is a glorious place. Um, for our transport, we will be getting down a bunch of the banana boxes that have been kind of made famous. They're a nice box to have. The turtles fit in them. They're all of a uniform size. So when we are flying turtles or moving turtles in vehicles, they're nice and stackable, small, and we know exactly how big, how much they weigh. Uh, so it's really important for the pilots to be aware of that. All the staff here at the New England Aquarium are coming in. We're making sure all of our animals are safe. They're, they're fed that all of the items that they need are being taken care of during this time uh, of uncertainty, uh, while COVID-19 is out there and while everyone is practicing safe social distancing. Um, I wanna thank you for joining me today during our virtual visit here at the New England Aquariums Sea Turtle Rehab Center in Quincy, Massachusetts. Thank you.